I had that dream again last night. No, not the one where I'm in college and I can't find my class schedule again. The other one, where I'm living in my dream house. It was a little different this time, but not different. Still spacious, modern but cozy, nice furniture. And there's always a hallway that leads to a part of the house that I've never seen before. And it's really clean, pristine. And it's like, how did I not know about this? This is amazing. Bonus square footage. But I hesitate to go. Because once I emerge from the other end of that hallway and make footprints on the silky white rug, once I put my dinner plate on the coffee table, and once I lay on the couch and do everyday couch things on it, it's not new anymore. And what if there's not another undiscovered hallway to go down, and that's it? And I'm out of new places to investigate, and what if, well, usually about then I wake, and in my half-conscious state, I try to think about any rooms in my real house that I might have missed, like a brick that I can twist in my living room and the whole thing will switch. Or a window that I haven't looked out of recently. Or worst case, some furniture that I can rearrange. So that it doesn't feel the same. Am I odd to see life like an odyssey? Why am I still browsing open houses on Zillow a year after I bought one? And how is it that sitting under a perfectly fine roof in a perfectly comfortable chair that I still feel like a vagabond? Aimless. Like I'm trying to write soliloquies on a keyboard with no return Just an empty space above the shift key on the right I have no way to start a new line Or a new life So I wander in the wilderness Through the wayfaring I crave bearing The drifting hurts to the bone Never quite sure of a moment That's why I keep trying to recycle words into poems Like if I could reverberate the tone Enough to turn nouns and verbs into stone I could subvert the loneliness But maybe the reason we're prone to this thirst to roam Is because this earth isn't home this whole human existence is like summer camp. We're just here to have experiences away from our parents. Yeah, there are mosquito bites, and the bed isn't very comfortable, and we have to cook our own food, but didn't we find a part of ourselves in that campfire? Was it the sparks, or were we the little glowing souls floating in a smoky purple haze? And that mountain we climbed, with every step we took, we left an older version of ourselves behind. There were stray branches, and we got some scratches. JJ got poison ivy, and the sun burns. Those were probably the worst, but we'll never forget the sun shining off the lake like a prophecy of light. And we're a little sore from learning to water ski, but tonight, anything can happen. We might laugh until the sky turns bright, or stumble into a first kiss under the moonlight. Either way, we're gonna remember these days until we're old and gray, and when the summer's over, we're gonna go home and say, you're not gonna believe what happened. I'm not the first person to feel like life is an exodus. I suppose it's like Moses for the rest of us. I know the promised land isn't listed on Zillow, and tonight when my head hits the pillow, I'm probably gonna dream about more new houses with secret passageways and unexplored rooms, but I can rest. Assured that the only thing better than real estate is a real estate. And I know the trust is mine to own. So I'm gonna keep throwing wood on the fire and blazing new trails and turning over stones every day. Until I'm on the bus ride home. That was cute. Okay. Cut. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me get some air real quick. One more time. One more time. Obviously, the three birds that he'd already told them. Sell about. it. Sell it. Um, so then he goes, uh, oink. Oink. Sell it. Sell it. Oink. <laughs> 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 <laughs>